The situation on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland has remained rather stable for the past week, with the only change being that we're getting closer to the estimated date of the next eruption. Residents of Grindavík have gotten the green light of retrieving valuables from their homes, with over 1,000 people embarking on such a journey today, February 4th. The day will be split into two halls, with each getting six hours in town. This will be the arrangement until the next intrusion begins, so everyone will hopefully be able to go a couple of times, as even though six hours sounds like a lot, the strict rules don't allow for maximum productivity. The damage to homes in Grindavík is unfortunately much worse than previously thought, as 53 homes have been deemed unusable, with this number likely increasing in the upcoming days. Plumbers and electricians will be going around town to check the conditions of houses after it became apparent that the main hot water pipe was leaking, but it was covered by lava during the last eruption. Only half of the town is now being supplied with a stable source of hot water through a new pipe. This could cause hot water rationing in the western parts of the peninsula, as this leak is causing big pressure losses in the Schwarzenke geothermal plant, which is running at full power. Now, where is the likeliest eruption site? Should we expect a bigger eruption? Well, let's check out the details. Beginning with the eruption site. Fortunately, it is more likely the next eruption will occur in the same area of the first one, on December 18th. It may be intuitive to think the trend would continue south, but that doesn't seem to be the case. The point where magma seems to intrude from into the large stike that formed on November 10th is somewhere between Mount Hagafell and Mount Sýlingarfell. We're pretty sure that's the case, since, during an intrusion, earthquake activity always begins there and it took much shorter time for the December 18th intrusion to reach the surface compared to the one on January 14th. But the December 18th eruption was located directly above where this influx point is thought to be. That means the further the magma goes horizontally from that point, the less power it has to push vertically, which is exactly what happened to the November 10th intrusion as it used all of its power to create a 10 km long magma dike, would have definitely been an impressive sight if it were to have reached the surface. This leads our experts to believe the next eruption site will be north of Mount Hagafell, but I've marked a rough outline of the likeliest eruption sites based on this information. So, the odds of an fissure opening in the center of Grindavík is by far the most unlikely scenario. But since we're not talking about 0%, we can't be sure. On to a more speculative topic. Do we have an idea of the size of the next intrusion slash eruption? Well, by looking at all the GPS stations in the area around Mount Thorbjörn, it becomes apparent that they've all passed the heights seen before the January 14th eruption. Our experts have been running simulations and expect the amount of magma that has flowed into the chamber since the last eruption to be around 6.5 million cubic meters. It is hard to say what that means, as we don't know how much magma left during the eruption. Then there's the fact that during the eruption there was no ground subsidence recorded on the Schwarzenke GPS station, suggesting two magma chambers. This is definitely a complicated situation, as we could be working with chambers, not just a chamber, with one being full to the brim. So, this means we could have a lot of magma ready, but it's hard to say exactly how large the next eruption will be, but it is unlikely we'll get an eruption of the same caliber as the first one, but instead something similar to the last one. Hopefully, after the next intrusion, 
will have a better understanding of the layout and their Schwarzenegger. Until then, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed, hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.